good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss some questions which are related to the chapter network flow so the first question says that use ford fulkerson algorithm to compute a maximum flow from node a to g and hence find a minimum cut this algorithm has already been discussed in the class it's very easy to use the algorithm i suggest you to try it by yourself and i am just providing you the answer so the maximum flow comes out to be 20 and to find the minimum cut you must construct the residual graph for this maximum flow and minimum cut its capacity should be equal to the value of the maximum flow so here this is the residual graph and you can see that from a you are reachable to this vertex let's call it one then you can go to this vertex let's call it two you can also go to this vertex 3 but from a 1 2 3 you cannot proceed further and therefore for the minimum cut the set a is a 1 2 3 and the remaining vertices forms the set b this is a very interesting question which says that if g is a three regular simple graph three regular means the degree of each of the vertex is 3. Simple means it does not have any loops and multiply j's. Then kappa g represents the vertex connectivity. Kappa dash g represents the edge connectivity. So vertex connectivity should be equal to edge connectivity. First recall that what is vertex connectivity and what is edge connectivity. So vertex connectivity is k. It means it gives you the largest k for which the graph is k connected for example if a graph is one connected two connected and three connected but not four connected then the vertex connectivity is four now k connected means that if you delete any k minus one vertices the graph remains connected but if you delete k vertices then the graph is not connected for example this graph is not too connected it is not too connected because if you delete one vertex less than two vertex there exists a vertex whose deletion disconnects the graph but if you consider this graph then this is too connected but it is not three connected it means if you delete three vertices in this graph then the graph becomes disconnected Similarly, we can think of the edge connectivity. Both the concepts has already been discussed. And now let's see the answer. To proceed further, first recall the Whitney's theorem, which says that kappa g is always less than equal to kappa dash g. The vertex connectivity cannot exceed the edge connectivity. This is one point. Yes, it means you just need to show that kappa dash g should be greater than or equal to kappa g. Okay, let us assume that kappa dash g is equal to t. Now recall the Menger's theorem. Menger's theorem says that if edge connectivity is t, then there exist at least t edge disjoint paths between every pair of the vertices. So consider u and v it means there exist at least these t edge disjoint paths between u and v okay what we need to show that to show kappa g is less than equal to kappa dash g that these edge disjoint paths are also vertex disjoint Sorry, this you just need to show kappa g is greater than or equal to kappa dash g because this follows from Whitney's theorem. It means there exists at least t vertex disjoint path. This is what we need to prove. If we can prove that all these edge disjoint paths are vertex disjoint, then for sure there are t vertex disjoint paths and there can be other disjoint paths, vertex disjoint paths also. So the question is why these edge disjoint paths are vertex disjoint. 
yes from the Mangler's theorem we are using this result now let's assume that any two paths are not vertex disjoint so there is a path u and v this is one path and if they are not vertex disjoint then there may be one more path and they are intersecting at at least one vertex so when they intersect at this vertex then degree of this vertex would be 4 but it is given that the graph is 3 regular it means degree 4 is not allowed it means all these edge disjoint paths are vertex disjoint path it means there exist at least t vertex disjoint paths even more than that which shows that kappa dash g is less than equal to kappa g and from Whitney's theorem kappa g is less than equal to kappa dash g from both the results kappa g is equal to kappa dash g if the graph is 3 regular the next question talks about the blocks so blocks are the maximal connected subgraph we need to compute the number of the blocks in the following graph so the first one is this one then it is there is a cut vertex so maximal connected subgraph having no cut vertices so you can see this the first block has does not does not have a cut vertex then the second block start from g and again you can see that it does not have the cut vertex the third block starts from g and goes to r it does not have a cut vertex the next one is y and r where r is common in these two blocks and the last one is the triangle which is y s and x it means the following graph has five blocks the next one says that prove that every connected simple graph contains at least one cycle a very simple question the only thing is that when the question comes you do not know that which approach you have to use one of the most common approach for example we saw in the last question was the Menger's theorem so again if you see the Menger's theorem so if two connected then between every pair of the vertices there exist at least two vertex disjoint paths and since these two paths are vertex disjoint they form a cycle which says that it contains at least one cycle if you don't have to mangers if you don't have to use the mangers theorem one more approach is you can think of the path which is maximal p with end vertices and u and v yes now two connected means that it does not have a cut vertex so if the degree of u or degree of v is equal to 1 then its neighbor is a cut vertex but the graph is too connected it means that degree u should be greater than 1 and degree v should be greater than 1 now degree u is greater than 1 it means that u must be adjacent to one more vertex if it is adjacent to some vertex which does not belongs to path p let's say w then this path is not maximal it means it should be adjacent to some vertex which belongs to this path p and that forms a cycle the next question is we need to compute the vertex connectivity and edge connectivity of the following graph so if you think of the vertex connectivity then every connected graph is one connected but this is not too connected because it has a cut vertex so therefore the vertex connectivity kappa g is equal to 1 it does not have a bridge therefore it is two edge connected but it is not three edge connected because there exist these two edges whose deletion disconnect the graph and therefore kappa dash g is equal to 2 similarly for this one vertex connectivity edge connectivity they don't have the cut vertex as well as cut edge, uh, uh, bridge and which means that the kappa g should be at least 2 and kappa dash g should be at least 2 
but now you can see that if you delete these two edges the graph becomes disconnected and therefore kappa dash g cannot be 3 it must be 2 similarly if you delete these two vertices then the graph becomes disconnected and therefore kappa g cannot be equal to 3 it must be equal to 2 so that's all from today's class in the next class we will start a new chapter plane with graphs